Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna make this video on Radiant Barrier and I'm gonna to try to keep this short and sweet. If you guys are on the fence about adding Radiant Barrier, I'm gonna show a quick demo on just how effective this stuff is. I'm up here in a cathedral ceiling here that I'm doing Radiant Barrier on. And let me show you the brand here, atticfoil.com. I've got a FLIR imaging camera here that shows a heat signature. And you can see by far the hottest part of this room is this ceiling. If we come in closer, the hottest parts are, are the orangish yellow color and the coolest parts are the purple color. So you can see here on the left side, there's a spectrum grid. The hottest part in frame on the camera is 137 degrees. The coolest is 94. Let's look at this section here. So if we bring the camera up, <laughs> look at how much cooler that spot is with the radiant barrier. 95. Uh, 95, 96 degrees on the radiant barrier. You can see my cursor there in the middle of the camera, of the FLIR camera. If I move it over, 134 degrees here. 134 degrees, 97.7, so we move it around, 94.6, a 40 degree difference almost. Look at that, unbelievable. Just from adding attic foil radiant barrier, now, most radiant barriers are gonna work the same way. I purchased this attic foil because I liked his YouTube videos and how transparent he was with his company. So support local business. All I have is installed right here. And this is the same temperature as this OSB. And that stuff is hot. So this is actually doing its job and it's thermally proven. So. I just wanted to make this short video on Radiant Barrier to show you that, that compare and contrast. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. I appreciate it. This helped you kind of think about Radiant Barrier. It's unbelievable the differences. One more time. Thermal camera. Unbelievable. 98, 97, and 135. That's a big difference. So thanks for watching guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll get to the next one.